Our team coverage continues now. Wolka police warned that this kind of crime is happening more often. Car thefts are skyrocketing across Connecticut. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna joins us now live in Wolcott with the details. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. And yes, first and foremost, investigators are breathing a huge sigh of relief, as we all are, that both of these kids are okay. But stepping aside and showing you the crime scene here, investigators also tell us they are not all that surprised that a criminal would stoop this low because, sadly, we are seeing it happen again and again. So let's revisit the surveillance video. Again, you can see the thief bolts over from a nearby sedan, jumps into an idling car, and takes off with two kids, an 11-year-old boy and a 5-year-old girl named Desirea, inside. Her older brother wisely bails out of the vehicle, and we actually have some footage of him helplessly running after the car to try to help his sister, which, of course, is so heartbreaking. Again, though, fortunately, the thief later ditched the car a short distance away, and Chief Edward Stevens later found little Desirea sleeping in the back of the vehicle, apparently unharmed, which led to a very joyful family reunion. But Chief Stevens stressed to us that since the pandemic began, really, his officers have been responding to a surge in car thefts, which also reflects a statewide trend. He says, unfortunately, as a result, you simply cannot let your guard down, even for a few seconds, to pump gas or go inside or for any other reason. You should not leave your car running at all. You know, uh, anywhere, whether it's in your driveway to warm up or whether you're, uh, you know, going into a store or running in to grab lunch or dinner, you know, take the keys. That's the main thing. And as A mentioned, police are still searching for the suspects right now. We don't have a lot of information about them, but Chief Stevens tells us in other similar cases, many times these car thieves don't know children are in the back seat. They're not interested in kidnapping the children necessarily, but obviously that would be what they're charged with because they're putting their lives in danger by that type of crime. Reporting live this morning in Wilkett, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.